One thing I've always wondered is who knows the most? Is it the Fox News viewers? What about the CNN viewers? MSNBC viewers? Could it be talk radio? What about CBS or NBC? Maybe Blaze TV? I mean, who knows the most? Well, up until this point, we haven't had the answer to that question, but we know now. It's Andy with the Heartland Institute bringing you more from climaterealism.com. The way we're able to answer this question is that in conjunction with Rasmussen Reports, the Heartland Institute conducted a poll of 2,000 likely voters. These voters were asked how they consume their news. And by that, I mean, was it TV? Was it radio? Is it the newspaper, social media? And if it's TV, is it CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Blaze TV, CBS, NBC? They were also then asked what their political inclination is. Are they right-leaning? Are they heavily right-leaning? Are they left-leaning? Are they heavily left? Are they in the middle? So they were asked that. And then they were asked not opinion, but factual questions and their responses to them. All right, so let's get into the questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read the question for you, and then I'm going to read the possible answers. Then we're going to look at what viewers of Fox News said, what viewers of CNN said, and what viewers of MSNBC said. And like I mentioned earlier, these are factual-based questions. There's no opinion here. It's just right or wrong. Here's question one. Let's see how you all do. How many degrees measured in Fahrenheit has global temperature increased since the late 1800s? Is it less than one degree, one to three degrees, three to five degrees, five to 10 degrees, 10 to 20 degrees, or more than 20 degrees? Y'all got your answers in? Let's look at the correct one. According to the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, average across the land and ocean, the 2020 surface temperature was 2.14 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the pre-industrial period. Here's what everyone said from each news source. For less than one degree Fahrenheit, the percent of CNN viewers that answered this is 5%. MSNBC, 3%. And Fox News, 21%. Now let's look at one to three degrees Fahrenheit, which is the correct response. So it's 30% of CNN viewers, 30% of MSNBC viewers, and 41% of Fox News viewers. Next, we've got three to five degrees Fahrenheit. CNN viewers were at 35%, MSNBC viewers were at 38%, and Fox News viewers were at 22%. Next, 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. CNN viewers are at 19%, MSNBC viewers 19%, and Fox News viewers 11%. Now, 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got 9% for CNN, 8% for MSNBC, and 4% for Fox. The fact that essentially one out of 10 people who watch CNN think the Earth is warm between 10 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit is freaking insane. And finally, we have greater than 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Fortunately, the responses here show that no one really believes this. So this is a factual-based question. There's no opinion here. It comes from hard data. And we can see that Fox News viewers were far more likely to get the correct answer than CNN and MSNBC. They were also more likely to get near the correct answer than CNN or MSNBC viewers. So in that regard, Fox News viewers knew more. Let's go to question number two. Question two is an interesting one. If global carbon dioxide emissions continue to increase at a rate comparable to what occurred during the past decade, how many years do you think it will take for humans to become completely or nearly extinct due to climate change? 10 to 20 years, 20 to 50 years, 50 to 100 years, or more than 100 years. Let's see how everyone did. I'm going to give you the responses this time before I give the correct answer to give you all a little more time to think. Here they are. 10 to 20 years. We got 7% for CNN, 4% for MSNBC, and 3% for Fox. 20 to 50 years. We have 21% for CNN, 19% for MSNBC, and 9% for Fox. 50 to 100 years, we have 25% for CNN, 35% for MSNBC, and 13% for Fox. Greater than 100 years, we have 39% for CNN, 36% for MSNBC, and 54% for Fox. And finally, we won't become extinct. 9% for CNN, 6% for MSNBC, and 20% for Fox. Here's the correct answer. There is no evidence that the human race will be extinct or near extinction within the next century, regardless of whether CO2 emissions continue to increase, a fact supported by virtually everyone in the scientific community, including those greatly concerned about climate change. So what that means is even your Michael Manns or your Michael Moores, the people that scream the loudest about catastrophic climate change, even though they won't say that we're going to go extinct within the next hundred years, no one is saying that. What's fascinating here is if we look at the percent of people from CNN who believe we will be extinct in the next 100 years because we have 7% for 10 to 20, 21% for 20 to 50, and 25% for 50 to 100. That means that 53% of CNN viewers believe we will be extinct or nearly extinct 
as a species in the next 100 years. And it's 58% of MSNBC viewers, so they're no better. The correct answers here are either greater than 100 years or we won't go extinct. Because if you say greater than 100 years, that could mean, you know, 100 billion years. And if you think we're going to go extinct in 100 billion years, that's fine. I, I can't say we're not. So the correct answers were greater than 100 years or we're not going extinct. 74% of Fox News viewers got this correct. That's opposed to the 48% of CNN viewers who got this right and the 42% of MSNBC viewers who got this right. So yeah, Fox News was more educated on this issue again. As I said in my opening, people that watch Fox News are far more educated on climate change, or people that don't watch the news on TV at all are more educated on climate change than viewers of CNN and MSNBC. And we can see that's true. Greater than 50% of CNN viewers think we're going to be extinct in the next 100 years. That's, again, that's ludicrous. If you want the really in-depth numbers, I'll link the survey in the description below. And you should check it out, because it goes past CNN, MSNBC, and Fox. It goes into talk radio. It goes into social media. It goes into people that don't watch the news at all. And those people know more than CNN. But it's it's really fascinating. And it goes past climate change. It's a multitude of issues. So definitely check out the full survey. But yeah, what I wanted to talk about was, again, how Fox News viewers knew more. And it's not that CNN will directly lie to people. It's just they they also they directly don't tell the truth. They'll tell you that climate change is this catastrophic thing that's going to you know kill us all. But they don't tell you it's going to kill you in you know the next hundred years. But that's what they want you to believe because they are the spokespeople for big government, essentially. And big government wants to take more of your freedom using climate change. If you ever wanted objective proof that CNN viewers are wildly misinformed, here it is. Check out the survey. Learn more about it. It's really cool. It's Andy with the Heartland Institute. I hope this video helped it out. Check out climaterealism.com. Follow us on Facebook if you're watching these videos on YouTube. The Facebook's community is great. They're so active. You all comment on the videos. I love it. And if you're on Facebook and you want to check out the videos on YouTube, go, go do that too. Consume it everywhere. It's great stuff. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Next time.